once upon a time. Your daddy has had his name as long as you have, you know. Because before you came, his name wasn't daddy. It was something else. Something that might sound strange to you if you say it now. Your daddy was once a boy, you know, too. Your daddy was once a boy, too, you know. And so this is a story about your daddy. The title of this story is Tickling Fish. Once upon a time, when your daddy was still small, probably about seven or eight, his daddy took him to the forest. And how did they get there? Well, they jumped in the car with mummy, and she drove for miles, what seemed like miles and miles, windy roads and hedges that only dad could see over. And then we stopped in the middle of nowhere and climbed out of the car over a gate and into a big, wide field. I had my Wellington boots on, and I'm not sure what else, some jeans and a jacket maybe, and Dad had the bag, although I can't remember him carrying anything magic. And we walked straight through the field. There was talk of bulls and cows and charging and running and what would we do if the bull over there would start to chase us? Well, I'd jump on my dad's shoulders probably. Anyway, one fence over the barbed wire across another field, watch the cow poo over to another hedge and cross over that and then down a little hill into a little forest. Your dad was a boy once too, you know, and the older you get, the further away that boy becomes. <laughs> and so we had a fire, and your dad's dad put his hand in the water and tickled the fish until it fell asleep. And then he caught it and cooked it. And we had fish and sausages on the fire. Then we found some sticks and made a bow and arrow and a spear, a couple of spears, and we threw them into rotten tree trunks. And we did, <laughs> we shot the arrows into the rotten tree trunks as well. I can remember the smell of the sausages and the smoke in my hair and my wet socks. But it was great. It didn't feel cold. didn't feel hot. just felt nice and warm. And then when it just started to get dark, a bit before then really, we started to walk back over the fields. That's when it started to hurt my legs and my feet were aching. Come on, you can do it, said my dad. We climbed over the last gate and got into Mum's car. I don't know how she knew we were there. And we drove home and I fell asleep. Those deep sleeps that you get when you're so tired from having a day in the forest. A deep sleep that you, only a boy or a girl can sleep as your mum's driving through the country lanes back home. Like a quick wash, maybe bed without supper. Again, as you get older, that boy that dad used to be gets further and further away. <laughs> anyway, that was a story about your dad who used to be a boy. And this is an invitation to any 
daddies that would like their story told, I'm going to start a series called Your Dad Was a Boy Once Too, you know. And mommies are invited to send their stories because mommy was a girl too, you know, once. <laughs> and so this is a chance for you to send me your story when you were a boy and when you were a girl and I can tell it to your kids. I'm not sure if it'll be on the Lights Out podcast. Could be on a new one. Anyway, you can send the story to e3d stories at gmail.com or send me a message on the Facebook page Lights Out Bedtime Stories. Okay, that's it for now. Good night.